All right, so the next question is, would you allow your man to have friends of the opposite sex? Yes, I will allow my man to have friends of the opposite sex. Um, We all going to be friends. To be honest with you, we're going to be like best friends, all of us. Because if he was that girlfriend before me, then I understand. But if they trying to be friends while I'm in the picture... We're going to have a three-way. Like It's going to be, that's my friend, and you're her friend. You're going to have to talk to me. You're going to have to see me, and you're going to have to respect me. That's it. That's how I feel. But I don't have no problem with it, because I know I got my man, and I know I got what it takes to hold him. Me, I, what, I, what is that? What that song? What Vanessa Blake say? Me, I have everything. Oh, yes. Lord. Okay, so, yeah. Let's but I don't mind my man having a... Girl, who my cousin? Friend, friend, a girl. Oh, we didn't even friend. tell them what we dr- drinking on today. What you drinking on? Tell this them. is some Remy, y'all. Remy, Remy Martin. It's, we got the red cup today, but um, I agree with you, one hundred percent. Yeah, there's nothing for me to really say on that because I'm not, I'm not jealous. I know what I can do. Right. I'm not a hater and. I would look at you mad funny as a man if just because I came along, you just go ditch your friends. Like, what type of friend is you? What type of loyalty do you have? Just because I say jump? Like, oh, don't be her friend. Like, if I feel some type of way, then yeah, that's a different story. But if she's 100% respectful and she know her place, you know your place, I don't care. I'm not insecure right. in that way. Like, I know I fuck you good. I know I suck your dick good. I know I take good care of you. I cook like me. I do what I'm supposed to do. So I'm not worried about that. And I listen. Like, um, what? <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's and then it's, that's why I said, I listen sometimes. But that's the thing, that's why I say, like. It, well, then again, I never had a real man to really make me feel comfortable and safe enough to listen to that. So, sip on that. So, you don't listen to that, I said, I never had a man that allowed me to feel comfortable, to listen safe to enough, them. and vulnerable enough to listen to them. Mm, I can't relate. <laughs> so and that's why I say there's nothing out here for you. I love you in your relationship. Your relationship like makes you glow and you flourish in it. And I love that for you. Thank you. Thank FYI, you. I created it. <laughs> but hey, that's another podcast for the It morning. is. If y'all want tea time on that one, put it in the yeah, comments and let us know. We give you some real tea time, and we can really talk about some stuff with y'all. Period. But it's my turn. Um, let me see. I just want you to ask yeah. Anything. Would you stop being friends with someone because your man said so? Ooh, this is a good one. Yeah. You want to go first or you want to go first? No, you, I asked the question. Okay, so okay, so this is the thing. Like, I'm my own person. I'm a grown ass woman. So this is the thing. Like, I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna listen to my man. But he has to have a valid point and a valid reason why he want me to stop being friends right. with that person. If she, if he see okay, she's on some hey and shit, or she's not for your best attention, she's she's doing this, she's leading you astray. Then okay, he has valid reason. Then of course me, I have to step away. I have to address it. But I'm not gonna off friend stop being friends with my friend just because my nigga said it. I'm not gonna go to girl. But I do take advice and I do listen to my man. But like I said, he has to have a valid reason. Why? Why is it? Because sometimes these niggas, they be trying to fuck your friend. Mm-hmm. So they want to let make you stop fucking with them so they can fuck them. So why do you want me to stop being her friend? Unless she's just a badass person. Then, okay, I understand. What about you? I agree with you 100%. Um, I value, if I had a nigga... Um, I will value my man and I will always think that it's in the best interest because one thing about it, um, in any relationship that I haven't been in, I've always been able to spot who's my nigga friend and who's not my nigga friend. And I will definitely let you know that's not your friend. Right. I have no problem. And that's your friend. (laughs) And that's your friend. Even in a relationship as a boyfriend, girlfriend, or even platonic, even with you, I will tell you, like, that's your friend? <laughs> oh, okay. That's not your friend. Like, I, that's not your friend. Like, I don't have a problem. But if my nigga come to me and say something to me and give me a valid reason 
and he's strong about this reason oh 100 i'm with my nigga like, my, it, my it comes with them my circle my first my like, my now it, it's like a nigga that i just met now coming and tell me oh you can't be friends with tuki well on that note i hope you have a great day because that's never gonna happen. Like <laughs> now, that's a different story. But right. if it's my nigga and it's like he see this nigga that I'm I'm cool with, you're a little too much. Of course, I'm like yo, out of respect for my man. I'm, of course, we can't be friends. Period. Just for the respect of it, because I would hope that if I felt some type of way, and I told him, he would respect me in the same tone as like, hey, my girl really don't you know, right and curb that. Right. At the end of the day, to be honest, I am his only friend. Right. Give me a wig, bitch, and I could be any friend you want. All right. Switch it up. Make him feel like he cheated. Period. Um, she glam. Definitely got wigs on day. I love this. Uh-huh. But anyways, next question. Who turn? Is your turn or my turn? I think it's my turn. I can't even find my phone. It's the dawn's turn. Period. Not Ooh. the dawn. Have, it, have you ever been a side bitch? Yes. Of course. Yes, I have. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Of course. <laughs> Like it was a long time ago. I I I am delivered. I have done found Sarah Jake's robbers. I have done changed my life. I am delivered. I do not. I don't take people man's no more. I know what it feel like now. I have ladies. I have felt your pain. I have cried (laughs) over that phone and called and called. I'm pretty, pretty sure, there. I'm pretty sure he was with one of y'all. He said, oh, why does this bitch keep calling me? <laughs> I'm pretty sure he said that. Yeah, like, but like yes, I've, I've definitely, and I feel like I've had my karma, but I have definitely been the side bitch, and I had definitely had a side nigga. I've definitely been trifling. Now I'm not going to lie, I should have voted. Yeah, I was, a, I, was, I was a side bitch before. and But you know, around the time when I was a side bitch, I, that's all I wanted to be. I didn't want to be nothing more or nothing less. I just wanted to. But I bet that nigga love me. Bring the period. Of course, they love you. Of I don't course. change my number every December thirty first. So, <laughs> I mean, he's so stupid. Hot like <laughs> bling. Oh, oh look, y'all got a phone. Y'all happy because <laughs> it's not under construction no more. <laughs> period. But yeah, like we all been there. Not that some of us is proud, you know, but we all been there. Some, uh, I've been it. Me too. Yeah, I ain't ashamed. I ain't ashamed. All right, so the next question is... What's the next question, child? Ooh, shall I? All right, so the next question is, would you let your man cheat if he gave you everything you wanted? No. I won't. (laughs) Okay, the reason why I say no, I won't because... Every, and why would I let my man cheat? He's my man. So if everything I wanted, he would be part of everything that I wanted. So if I'm letting you cheat, then I'm not really uh-uh, happy. Uh-uh, because last night you told me that sometimes you had to settle and accept certain things. No, when I said settle, <laughs> I didn't mean settle and let the man cheat on you. I never said that. <laughs> you said that on me. But not like, all compromise on you right. Not all niggas I'm and that's I what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> not all niggas is perfect. Sometimes you have to compromise. Not you not there's no way in hell you gonna meet a nigga that's a hundred percent good. He gonna have some type of flaw. But it's okay because we all human. Everybody have a flaw. So it's it's up to you to be okay to deal with that flaw or not. I think right now at this big age of um 25, okay? <laughs> 25, and I'm 26. At this big age, because a lady never tells her age, but at this big age, um, cheating once, uh, <coughs> cheating twice, I'm getting my lick back. But after that, it's like, if you're just going to keep cheating, then we just shouldn't be together. And at this big age, it depends on how much is everything that I want. Because if it's money, everything, the house, money, car, 
Unlimited bank account spends. <laughs> I don't give a fuck where you go, sir. Just <laughs> leave the card on the table. Right. I mean, like, it is that type of but thing. But I'm gonna be real with you. You gotta be thing. really. You have to be mentally done to let. Yeah, it be like mentally, like that. you mentally done. And you you gotta, and you better be having your own nigga bitch. You gotta you have a nigga here crying and and you not spending this nigga money is every fucking day that he's giving you everything you want. You not fucking your own nigga on the side. Then that's your fault. That's your fault. I'm sorry. Yeah, like, or you're not saving that shit. And you're not saving that shit to invest in yourself and build yourself up so you you can come back (laughs) and do a U-turn and shit on him. Because, listen, I had this one... I'm going to be real with you. I have this one ex that I am dying to shit on. Really? Period. Like, just, I have to. But you know what I say? The best... The best... Revenge is success. That's the type of that's the yeah. The best revenge is success. I just want to just because it's just no way, no way. (laughs) But that's a story for another day, right? That's a story time type of story. But we gonna have it because I'm really starting to fuck with y'all a little bit. Period. But you know what I what you say when you was like, um, how many times a nigga gotta cheat on you? Like, how many times do you think it's okay for a man to cheat? Because you said it's you never okay to cheat. One time. But I'm not a quitter. <coughs> but you, see, but you I'm know. a winner, a winner, chicken dinner. I'm not a quitter. But like you so said. So my pride will allow me to stay. And that's the fucked up toxic part. Is that, and I can admit that. My pride will allow me to stay because in my mind, it's like, I'm not letting this bitch have what I have, what, what I, what's mine. But after a while, my pride is gonna really slow down, and it's gonna be like, I just don't fucking like you. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I hope you fucking step on the fucking third rail and die. At my big age, I'm too old for that. Like, I feel like I don't. I I gave my exes so much of like second chances. Yeah, I don't want to. I'm that to anymore. the age right now. Like, nigga, you cheat on me now. Bitch, I'm leaving. I'm going to be fucking another nigga. And I'm going to tell you I'm fucking another nigga. Right. And we're not going to be able to be together. Because, like, I'm too grown for that. Like, if it's if it's me that you want to be with and I want to be with you, why are we cheating on each other? Right. We might as well go see other people. So, like, at my big age, I don't give a damn if I'm well, I'm 26 now. So, if I had to pass every every year a new nigga, that's how it's going to be. But, this, but I'm that's not gonna, what a nigga you love. The question was... A what, nigga that gives you everything. I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn. You cheat on me, I'm leaving you. And I'll do I'll try again with a new nigga. Cause then you gonna keep playing me. I don't have time for that. But you gotta be doing you too though. Well in order to stay. Oh yeah, yeah. You that's, gotta what, do that's, you. What, that's what I say. Don't mm-mm. But if it's something like we've been together for years and we love each other and we felt we were like so tired and you keep cheating. No, 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 no. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Cause you don't love me. That's not love. That's mm-hmm. manipulation. That's not love. <clears throat> and I don't have Stockholm syndrome. No. All right. So the next question is, y'all went in with these questions, baby. All right. So the question says, do you feel like you are a forgiving person? Do you feel as if you're a forgiving person? Um. Yeah, I am. I'm a forgiving person, but I'm never going to forget. I'm going to always know, like, you did something, but I'm going to forgive you. You get what I'm saying? But I'm not going to forget because you hurt me once, shame on me, right? Hurt me twice. No, hurt me once, shame on you. Hurt me twice, shame on me. Hurt me again, won't be fooled. Hurt me three times, won't be fooled again. Some shit like that. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm going to forgive you. Y'all only think we have us in a chokehold. Yeah, I'm gonna forgive you, but then again, it's always certain questions you can answer because it's like it has to be what's the situation. If it's a certain situation where like bitch, you can't be forgiven, I'm gonna leave it at that. But me being the type of person that I am, like I'm happy with myself now. I love myself and I appreciate myself, so I'm not gonna let nobody take me out of my character or out of my spirit. So if somebody do something to me, if it hurts me really bad, yes. I'm going to hurt by it, but I'm going to forgive you. I'm going to let that person go out of my heart because I don't want to hold grudges in my heart. Then I'm going to lose my blessings because of that. Right. And I love myself too much to miss any type of blessing. Do I look like I need to miss blessings? I mean, I'm a blessing. And I'm not going to let a musty, crusty, dusty bitch make me lose my blessings. Period. So, yeah. 
I agree. I feel like <clears throat> with time, um, keyword with time, I'm a very forgiving person. Um, I don't take nothing anyone does to me. Like, even in, like, relationships or anything, like, I can still pick up the phone and talk to my ex. Because at the end of the day, um, I don't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm, I'm a type of person that's like, it is what it is. And if it was for me, it would have worked. And if, so that must mean it's not for me. So I try not to take anything too personal. And I don't ever want you to feel like you have that much power over me that you can control my emotions. I don't want to give you that type of power. So I forgive you. Um, if, if there's anybody that watches this podcast and feel like, oh yeah, this bitch hates me. I don't. I don't, I don't know give a fuck. Him. I forgive you. I forgive me for whatever I did, I did to you. Um, <clears throat> but I don't hate, I don't, I don't have a problem forgiving anyone. Um, because, and then I also look at things as, I'm, I'm a, I'm trying this new thing of accountability where if you do something, maybe that's my karma. Mm -hmm. It's your punishment. It's my punishment. And I accept that. Like, mm -hmm. you know, maybe this is happening to me because of something that I did mm -hmm. and I need to learn from this and understand why this is happening and how I can grow from it. Instead of always looking at it as a victim point of view, mm -hmm. I try to look at how I can level up from this. Right. No matter what, even if something is taken from me, like, you have to be a person that even when you're faced with loss or hurt or anger or anything, you choose to rejoice. Mm -hmm. you choose to continue to be happy. That's what keeps you from depression. Mm -hmm. That's what keeps you from like evil negative thoughts always remain positive mm -hmm. you know pray the anger out of people's heart like don't allow people to make you angry if you're a happy person be that happy person don't let someone else's life dictate you if you know you're a person that you wear your emotions on your sleeve there's certain times where you just need to remove yourself and put yourself in isolation and just be like yo i know right there that's not for me mm -hmm. like and i even though you do things to hurt me I forgive you because at the end of the day, hurt people hurt people. Right. And I know that I have to remove myself from you. That doesn't mean I hate you. It's just we can't correlate with each other because as of right now, you're not aligning with my vibrations and my frequency. You don't align with what I want in life. And that's just that. But I forgive you for whatever you did to me. It's just you serve no purpose to what I'm trying to align my life with. Right. Definitely agree. So let's get right back into it. Next mm -hmm. question. Um, I just want to take a minute because this next question comes from um, Ray Darius Legacy. Ray Darius Legacy. Big Check him up. out. He's definitely somebody on the up and coming with his music. Um, he has a very nice selection of music. I think he has a new song that's coming out, which I really actually like. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm not being biased because I'm Gemini or whatever, but big Gemini. Shout out if you were Gemini. But I did see... Um, he has that new song coming out and check him out um he's definitely on the up and coming definitely for us uh broward miami Good. area but he has a really great question and it's what motivates you besides money that's a really great question um i would say for me what motivates me besides money is life me waking up every day and knowing that i'm i'm privileged to see the green trees, life, people, my daughter, that motivates me because some people don't wake up in the morning. You know, we left a lot of people yesterday. Mm -hmm. A lot of people did not come today with us and a lot of people will not wake up with us tomorrow. So that motivates me as well. I'm still here. I'm still breathing. I'm still kicking. I'm still able to do what I want to do. I'm still able to annoy you. I'm still able to be your number one person that you hate on because I love the fact that some of y'all hate on me. That's part of my motivation as well. So mm -hmm. that's what motivates me outside of money is life. Because at the end of the day, I'm still me. I'm still not on the motherfucking dawn. I'm big Nana, not the little one. I'm big Gemini, not the June one. I'm mm -hmm. the May one. And that's just that. Like, And I don't care if anybody says anything otherwise because you're you and I'm me. Period. So that's what motivates me besides money. Period. And just to piggyback off of what you said too, like life motivates me as well. And my kids, like my daughters, 
they motivate me because the whole goal is to like make it so they could to be able to um benefit from what I made it. Cause right. Growing up as a black person here, like it's hard. So if you can set the foundation for your kids so they can have a a, a slight better life than you, because it's still gonna be hard for them because they're black. So definitely. So my kids motivate me. Everything I do is for them. And of course, being able to get up every morning, being able to get a second chance, like, you know, I got a second chance to prove myself. What I did yesterday, I'm going to do it better today. Right. So what I did yesterday was probably not good. I'm going to try, I'm going to switch it up today. So that's my biggest motivation right there. Right. I agree. All right, guys. So we don't have enough time to get through all the questions. But what we're going to do is we're going to continue the questions next week. So make sure you guys tune in next week. And make sure you follow the lovely Nana the Dawn at underscore XX Beautiful underscore XX. Period. Follow me. Write me in my DMs. Talk to me. I love when y'all talk to me. Y'all been doing that lately. Hitting me up with the questions. Um, throwing your little stuff in my DMs. Um, let's keep it real professional as well. <laughs> I know I said I'm single and ready to mingle, but let's honestly ask yourself, like, what I really... You stupid, <laughs> man, yo. But I still love y'all at the end of the day. I'm yeah, really starting yeah. to like y'all. I see y'all really fucking with me. Too. <laughs> yeah. But um, definitely, like, it's been a pleasure really sitting here chatting with y'all. Period. Don't forget, Sunday, March 26th, the grand yeah. opening, pull up. If you can't pull up, we definitely have the wish list for She Glam Beauty Bar on Amazon. Period. Um, it's going to be in the description box. It'll Make be sure you check that download out. Download the description box. How to follow me will be down below. How to follow um, Tuki and how to follow the, the uh, beauty bar will be down below as well. Um, also... What else? What else? Um, what else? Also, just make sure you like. Oh yeah, we going to Jamaica. And we gonna vlog it for y'all. It's gonna be real serious. I just have to throw that out there. <laughs> yes, we are definitely going to Jamaica, and we are definitely for my twenty fifth birthday. Thing. Even though I'm twenty five now, but my twenty fifth birthday again. Yeah, she turned twenty five two times. What you know a blessing! I turned twenty five once. I know what she's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but guys, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Till next time, deuces.